Today on Flavor City, I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade bomb. That's right, it's super easy and pretty much anyone can make it. So all you have to do, hold on a second. GLO, this is Bobby. Homeland Security? I uh, no, wait, no, hold on. I should probably clarify, I'm not talking about that kind of a bomb, I'm talking about a flavor bomb, you know? Compound butters, AKA flavored butters. What were you thinking about, you sicko? Hold on. Yeah, I'm sorry about the confusion. Okay, yeah, I'll see you at the airport next time for my full body cavity search. Okay, goodbye. Whew. Now that we got that squared away, yeah, compound butters. They are like culinary gold, and guess what? They're always in my fridge or freezer. That's because they rain down flavor upon anything you put them on. And I guarantee if you step into any professional kitchen, you'll find some kind of compound butter there, and that's why the food tastes so darn good at the restaurants. So today, we're gonna make two of my favorites. First up, we're gonna make a citrus herb butter. Next, we're gonna make a honey strawberry butter that will rock any dessert or anything you put it on. So, let's get started. In the bowl, I have one stick of room temperature butter. You want it to be room temperature so it's nice and pliable. And to that, I have one lemon that I'm gonna zest. The zest actually has more flavor than the juice inside. And I never ever juice a citrus without taking the zest first. Next up, I'm gonna take one clove of garlic and also zest that. And this is a great way to get that garlic flavor in there without really getting a big chunk of garlic. I mean, no one wants to bite down on a big hunk of garlic, do they? Next up, I have herbs. Now you're gonna need about a quarter cup of any assorted herbs you want. So I just took a trip out to my garden and I got some flat leaf parsley, some chives, some basil, and some uh, dill. And the way I like to chop all these fresh herbs is wrap them up together like a tight cigar. That way the knife blade goes through as many of the leaves as possible. And these fresh herbs smell really great. And lastly, just one big pinch of kosher salt. Grab your spatula and mix it up. And like I said, your butter has to be room temperature here, otherwise it'd be impossible to make it pliable and help mix it in with the ingredients. And then grab a piece of saran wrap and lay it down. And what you're gonna do is transfer your butter mixture onto the saran wrap. And then fold one edge over the top of it and pull it back like this. I pretty much wanna reform the log and make another kind of butter log. And then all I have to do is even it out and tightly roll it away from you. Take the ends, twirl them up like that. That will last in your freezer for about two months. Life is too short for boring white meat chicken. So if you make a chicken breast, put out one of these pads of butter, let it melt down there, boom. You just went from a bland, flavorless piece of chicken to something that has interesting flavor, nice notes of citrus and herbs, and totally transforms the dish. So you know that I consider compound butters to be culinary gold. But recently, I talked to some of Chicago's top chefs to see what kind of flavor bombs they keep in their home kitchens, and let's see what they said. We'll make a double batch of homemade pancakes. We'll undercook them slightly, let them cool, wrap them individually, and then stick them in a freezer bag so you can pull out one or two. But the easiest part about it is you don't microwave them. You just put them in the, a standing toaster, two at a time, then boom, the kid has you know homemade pancakes like that. My wife and I have frozen chicken stock at all times. Little, little ice cubes of chicken stock. I guess I just love, um, I put fish sauce on pretty much everything. So, hey, you guys want pasta tonight? You want some burgers? Put in a burger. Next up, let's make the strawberry honey butter. In a bowl, I have another stick of room temperature butter. To that, I'm gonna add two heaping tablespoons of honey. And I like this butter because it balances salty and sweet, and I love that flavor combination together. To that, add the zest of one orange orange and the strawberry, they actually work really well together. Next up, let's do about a large pinch of kosher salt. I'd say that's about a half a teaspoon. And the star ingredient of our strawberry honey butter, the strawberries. And actually right now, the start of June, is the uh, season for strawberries. And the season means less money. So, you know, I'm all about that. I'd say you need about a quarter cup of strawberries. And I like to cut them up pretty fine. That way later on when I beat the butter with my mixer, they actually kind of, some of them get pulverized and creamed into the butter, but other ones stay whole. And unlike with the herb butter, we can't use the uh, old elbow grease on this one. We gotta break out the heavy machinery. Just take it to the butter on low speed, otherwise you might be wearing a little bit more than the butter than you want, and just start creaming it in there. 
and that should do. And just like the other butter, I'm gonna get a piece of saran wrap here and form the log, tighten the ends up, and there we go. You can put it on hot croissants, fresh bread out of the oven, pound cake, but one of my favorite things to do is take freshly made waffles, put a nice big hunk of this on top so it melts in all those nooks and crannies. That is like the ultimate brunch on a Sunday morning. You never have to leave the house. To get these flavor bomb recipes, go to flavcity.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Flav City. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ciao! Ciao.